You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. And I'm Rob, and you're listening to episode number 373. Very exciting time, Paul, in the aviation drone industry. It is a great day. made that up, aviation drone. I don't know why I came up with that. Drone aviation industry? Yeah, something like that. Anyways, welcome. We appreciate you spending a few minutes of your day with us. We definitely do. And today, what are we talking about? How can you register to take the 107 exam? Uh, We've learned a lot about that. Also, we wanted to answer some questions from some of our members and people on Facebook talking about, you know... Are you guys going to have study material ready? Uh, you know, what is it going to cost? So uh, we're going to answer those questions and your, and so much more. Also give you some heads up on registration. There's some little tricks that we've kind of noticed about the registration itself. We want to share that with you. But anyway, we just want to say thanks again to some of our sponsors, obviously Drone You and Go Professional Cases. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much. And today's question is right here. How, yeah. How do you register for the part 107 exam? <laughs> I just Indeed. Re- I just recorded that myself. Very nice. Thanks. Well done. Thank you. That is the question. We get that a fair amount. And, well, they're all written. No one sent it in, so that's why I said it like that. Yeah. Um, but, you know, do, do, do. And we're going to answer, like you said, more questions than normal. Obviously, we normally just do one, but we've got a few that pertain to this subject, so we're going to throw them all in. Yep. Let's get started. So today, we found out that you can pre-register to take the 107 exam. If you want the link, it is on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash drone you. And I got to say, it's awesome that we can actually register, but you have to be careful, Rob. What do you have to be careful of? Well, when you try to log in, right, if uh, the instructions aren't all there, you've got to log in with a password that you make a special character, and that's not listed on the page. I had to fail the password challenge a couple times uh, to realize it needed a special character. So when you're actually Hmm. logging in for the first time, you click that link, you do have to use a special character in the password, and it doesn't ask for it up front. And it doesn't, normally you have like a little question mark that gives a pop-up that tells you what the password should contain. Does it not have that? Um, Well, at first, it says that you need an uppercase letter and a number. It doesn't say you need a special character. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, it was, John and I figured out, I think it may have actually been put on the website now. I hope. Probably has If it's not there, now you know what to do. Um, So once you get the login information, you'll get an email. You click the link in the email, and it'll say, pre-register and pay for your Part 107 exam. Pay for yeah, it was 150 bucks, okay. which is now, good. That's I a, thought you mentioned that you didn't even pay yet. No, 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 I haven't. Uh, here's why. When I clicked which cat center I wanted to take, there uh-huh. are five or six here in New Mexico, right. and only one was actually listed, unless they've gone out of business. Um, only one was listed, the Del Sol Aviation. So okay. I called Vicky at the front desk of Del Sol Aviation, and I said, hey, look, they're accepting pre-registration now for the course. We know it's coming. Are you booking yet? And she's like, no, we're not. You know, I'm going to have, I think it was, I forget his name. We'll just say Jake. Um, I'm going to have Jake call you. He's mm-hmm. in charge of all that. As soon as we get it all together, you're the first person we'll call. Okay. So, but she was, she didn't act like she didn't know what you were talking about. No, she no. She knew what you were talking about. Yes. As most of these folks probably do by now. Well, I had another off-air conversation with her a couple days ago, and they've been getting hundreds of phone calls. So imagine. people are really interested in turning their passion into profit. There, I mean, there's no doubt about that. Absolutely. But there is a huge gap or divide that you have to cross in order to really do jobs. So I just want to stress again, guys, getting this test, it's going to be more difficult than you think, but it is the easiest obstacle to overcome and you can totally do it. Um, I'm really happy right now, you know, with the FAA that we are we are making strides. We've got to give them credit. Because oh, totally. Because things... Things are actually moving ahead at a reasonable pace. They are now. And one other thing that I'll say and I'll give them credit for is there are a lot of other countries and I've been dealing with a lot of other countries because I've been taking on jobs overseas uh, while all this was kind of figured out. Um, And one of the things I've been noticing with the FA that they're doing, and I want to say, you know, well done, is the online processes to automate Right. You know, different things about, you know, I know we're not there yet with the COAs. I hope they get there, but we're automating registration. We're automating registration. And it seems to be working pretty smoothly. 
so far so, so clearly good. they didn't use the same people that Obamacare used. <laughs> Is that? I mean, apparently, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe President Obama should take some some info from That's the right. FAA. The FAA <laughs> should have set up the... that. Oh man, I hope President Obama doesn't hear this. Um, anyway, I, I am happy because there are <laughs> other government agencies um, that. Uh, they don't they're, they're not thinking ahead and getting their online stuff together and i'm just giving props to the faa for actually doing that absolutely so based on your experience people might have to call more than one cat center before they find one that's actually doing the testing correct that is correct and that would that would be a reasonable expectation based on in fact only one out of five here in new mexico i don't know if those odds or if those numbers are going to play out around the country but um <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting text messages from our aviation lawyer here, John Rupert, saying that, uh, well, first of all, happy birthday. Um, the FAA just, just dumped the reauthorization back out, 13 new sections. The FMRA, which has to do with drone stuff, uh, was section six, and he's going social media blackout to read through it all. He, he's a boss, man. He is just a machine. He, yeah. I mean, really, he is a machine. So uh, it looks like we're going to have him on the podcast uh, let's see. It'll probably go out Monday. I'll try to get it out for tomorrow. I don't see it happening, but we are going to have John Rupert on the podcast, um, really discussing things about studying for 107. Uh, we're going to have, hopefully we'll have another little media event for studying for the 107 to try to make it easier for everyone. Um, but things are changing and evolving every day. And it's why, Absolutely. it's why if you're not in a community a positive community, you're just going to fall behind. Right. So, as it relates to studying for the test. Yes. Uh, what I'm getting from you and off the air, not necessarily here on the air, although you did say it's going to be harder than people think, is that the test could actually, I mean, it's going to be challenging. It's not a walk in the park. No. And um, people have heard us say getting the 107 is the easy part. That's because we're speaking relatively and relative to being a great pilot, a great businessman, et cetera. But the test is going to be challenging. Yeah, it's not going to be... It's not going to be a walk in the park, like you said. Um, this is actually a sectional, uh, one of the inserts that you get on the test. Um, it may not be the actual insert for the 107 test, but when you take other written exams, and you know what? I'm happy that I took my written exam yeah, for PPC you. because now I know what to expect. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll get a bunch of little like aids for your tests, and this is one of them. What book is that, by the way? Is that um, something that would be useful to people? This is the Student Pilot's Flight Manual. Is that overkill for people that are yes. looking to take the 107? Absolutely. Okay. Um, but there are very relevant sections in this book that people right. should know. Uh, in fact, I have both books. Let me just show this thing on camera. So again, if you're listening in your car, if you're listening on the road, if you're listening in the fields of your prairie or on the farm. So the or book if you're, is, it's by Kirshner? Yes. If okay. you're out on a boat, maybe. If you're out on a boat and you're listening to me right now. I am jealous of you. I'm just going to throw that out there. Anyway, uh, Student Pilot's Flight Manual from First Flight to Pilot Certificate by William K. Kirshner. Um, I got this on Amazon. The only relevant section in this book is going to be Section 20, Part 1, which is the Aeronautical Information Manual, talking about basic flight information, air traffic control procedures, and more importantly, airspace. That is the uh, that entire book. That's all somebody would need to focus on. Well, there's going to be maybe a bit of a stretch. There's going to be you know definitions in here, like we talked yeah. before. One of the questions um, that was on the test, or one I forget if it was a practice test question or if it was on the test, uh, but one of the questions was, "What is the AFD?" Mm -hmm. Rob, remind me. The oh, airport. Okay. Yes. Something director. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Airport facilities. Facilities. Director. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, he only told me that about eight minutes ago. They I already <laughs> forgot it. The <laughs> second question that you'll get is, um, what does the AFD have um, that's important to you? So, and I will let you look that up. What does that mean? What do they? What do they have? Like, well, they offer information. They also have things. What do they do? Yeah. I'm going to leave that out there. Um, okay. Also, <laughs> all right. So I do want to say this. If you are part, if you are a part of the DroneU community, um, I am going to post today. The FAA published some new questions for the 107 exam, their mm -hmm. study questions. Um, and we are going to post them in the DroneU community. So if you're a DroneU member, you'll get all the new questions, 40 cool. new ones. Now, aren't those questions people can get from the FAA? Yes. Okay. But mm -hmm. 
journey members will know right where to go because it'll be it's, right there. The difference between getting it there and getting it from us is other nothing other than convenience, really. Yeah. So all right. that's, that's cool. all it is. That's cool. I mean, this is one little taste. Like, that's what's one thing I want to clarify. This is one little taste of the information. Uh, you know, when you're a part of Drone you, you have access to people that are not available elsewhere unless you pay money for them. Um, and you also have access to a community to help you get through things. Mm -hmm. And this is definitely one of them. I mean, there have been things posted in there from all over. Like other people are offering 107 stuff and study guides. And You know, one of the things that we haven't mentioned on air about Drone U and the, and the community, which I think is kind of cool, is that we've got people from 40 states and now nine or 10 countries. Wow. And I bring that up because, man, that's a wealth of knowledge and, and people from a lot of different backgrounds and they're pursuing the same thing, but in different areas and they're comparing notes and they're helping each other. And it's phenomenal yeah. to see that community at work. It really is phenomenal. It really is phenomenal. All right, let's go back to studying stuff. Those questions are going to be there. Another book that you're going to want to get um, is the FAR AIM book. This is the Federal Aviation Regulations Aeronautical Information Manual. I'm going to give you some tabs you may want to uh, read. So page 82, section I, 6187. Uh, I think you're also going to want to know part 91, 119. Um, I think you're going to want Page 166. Page 166. Um, let's see. Uh, this, that regulation isn't in there. You're probably going to want to just buy the 27 version of the book and, and get the part 107. <laughs> Uh, but that's another 600 pages. So um, let's see, right of way, 167, uh, Class G operating procedures, 169. Um, mm. What is a TFR, 173. Sorry, I'm go I know I'm boring right now. Uh, no, it's useful. I'm sure people appreciate it because that's a big book, so to narrow it down helps. Yeah, uh, it's page 190, the, the first two paragraphs. I know that sounds weird, and it's about things that they will ask you. Um, and we don't really, you know, know everything that's going to be on there. Let's see. Uh, NTSB 830, you should all know about, uh, page 517. Again, airspace is page 619. Um, special use airspace is going to be 629. And TFR, more easy to read. I don't know why I tabbed that. It's page 631. Let's see. Airport visual indicators. Um, so you've got to know what um, a tetrahedral is, which is 667, and also what a tetrahedral does. Okay. No, I do not know. <laughs> 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 and you can tell me now, and I won't know tomorrow. Oh, you, man. Uh, weather forecasting <laughs> and how to read uh, the weather information um, from, <laughs> from the FAA, page 927. Oh, uh, you are funny, Rob. Clearly a sidekick here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to keep him honest. Uh, it's not easy, by the way. Flights over wild refugees, parks, and forest areas, 947. Um, density, altitude, and the effects therein, 951. Because uh, they're going to ask you questions about pressure altitude. So, um, Aircraft accident incident reporting, page 961. There's specific instructions in the 107 on doing that, right? That you have to report certain... And Accidents if there's I'm, damage, et cetera. I don't want to say Injury. this too soon, but I'm pretty sure it's very close to what's in that book, which is like you need a uh, very serious injury within 48 hours, and you've got, I think it's like seven days to uh, actually report it. Don't quote me on that. That could totally be wrong. I'm going off my memory, and my memory never serves me as properly as I wish it would. <laughs> so anyway, right. that being cool. said, um, lots of information coming out. Yes, we're coming up with a study guide. We're going to tr try and come up with a more interactive way to do it. I'm not going to mention how that is, because I don't want to get too into detail. But imagine if you had very important people. That you mm -hmm. could ask questions to. That'd be sweet. That work about any kind of subject you wanted concerning this Slash test. Slash the one hundred and seven in real time. Wow, nice. That's all I'm going to say. All right. I That's think I already said too much. So one of the things I've been wondering. I mean, we've got this frenzy of people, Paul, that are rushing to get this done, and they're scheduling their tests. And is there any reason to rush? I don't think there is a reason reason to rush just yet. The only thing you should be rushing into is your studying. Yeah. No, studying and flying. Absolutely. Um, yeah. <laughs> Again, I say it all, all over. You know, 107 is going to be 
the first obstacle. The next obstacle is, are you going to fly well enough to be able to fly in certain situations? You know, even close proximity flights on real estate housing and tight neighborhoods, that's going to be really difficult for someone. And do you have the confidence right now to go do that? Mm -hmm. Uh, Where you can fly, not hit anyone, hit anything, be confident. Please don't Um, hit anyone. uh, And a lot of people are not. So there's kind of like this big, uh, you know, this big chasm you got to cross. And I think... uh, Drone you is a good bridge to cross that chasm. Yeah, and absolutely. You guys want a shortcut to learning how to fly really well? Drone you is it. That's period. That's all it is. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I think we've talked already too much. So 107 is here. How do you do it? You have got to pre-register. Check out the link on our Facebook page at Drone You. And you can find it. It's the most recent post. Mm-hmm. Click that link. Make sure to call your local cat center again to see if they are taking registrations. If they're not, I wouldn't pay just yet. I would wait a little bit, just like Rob said. And maybe we can put the link in the show notes too. Yes, we can do that. Probably. Absolutely. Cool. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for us today. Thank you to everyone who watches, listens. If you think this information is going to help someone out, don't be afraid to share it with them. We're always willing to help you and ask, or excuse me, and answer the questions that you ask. Absolutely. And if you have a question, we will be getting back to listener asked questions. Please go to askdroneu.com. Send those in, and we haven't had very many of the the videos to get a case. It's true, but we did just send out two cases, so we, we haven't did. played those yet, but we did just send out two cases. Yeah, and I'm so. actually, I don't know if I'm excited or not to play the video that we got. It's, uh, it's odd. But it, thank you for sending it in. Is it <laughs> weird? Odd as in a funny, crazy kind of way. <laughs> That could go weird quickly. Yes, it could. Anyway, I have <laughs> Wait a feeling, till you see it. I have a feeling it won't be too, too weird. Oh, no, no, no. It's not over the top by any stretch. It's fun. Awesome. It's good. Awesome. Anyway, guys, please send in those questions. Uh, check out our Instagram page, Instagram, uh, and we're at the drone you and facebook.com slash drone you. And we're on Twitter at the drone you where you can find out up to date information on us. Again, if you have questions, ask drone you.com. That's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. I'm Rob. And this is Ask Drone You. <laughs>